Hi, once again, Dave Sclavi here, K41361, just about completed. A few more details to put on. Uh, had our first run this year with it about a week and a half ago. Runs smooth as glass, no problems at all. Runs very smooth running engine, fires well, plenty of power, no problems at all. Um, since then, I've been working on the lighting system. Dan wanted to run at night. He's never run at night, uh, so we want to run at night and uh, give me an excuse to finish it up. Got the selector switch all made up. You've seen that. I already had the lights on the front and on the rear, I, and the only thing I really had to make was the uh, cab lights and then run all the conduit and uh, finish all that up and wire it all up. So i um, been working on that for the last two weeks. It's very, very hectic. Um, I'm not good at doing electronic wiring. House wiring, I'm a whiz at, but electronic wiring, it's not my thing. It's a little too small for me to work on. I'm not good at soldering the wires, and I uh, managed to do it, so it's done now. Battery in the tender, talked about that's 12 volt, 7 amp hour gel cell, comes from Tower Hobbies. It uh, gives, on this amount of lights that I have on here, 8 bulbs powered at all times. It uh, gives me about uh, four hours at least. I haven't checked it after that. Four hours of running at night. Plenty of time. Um, selector switch is a single pole double throw switch. Set her off with a rubber boot on it. I got it from McMaster Car. They about seem to be about the only people that have anything anymore. Um, forward position turns on and powers up the um, cab lights. And, of course, the two lights here I have on the pressure gauges in the tender. Um, they're always hot when the power's on. The other lights are controlled through the selector switch. Now, let's see if I can get this right. Um, don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe you can see that. That's the lights back here. lights there. I'll tilt it a couple ways to get it in there. Okay. And uh, selector switch is mounted here on the uh, back of the cab wall with the, the switch throw, throw arm hanging down and I can very easily reach under there and grab it. First position to the left turns on the front markers and turns on the rear marker lights. I don't know if you can see that, but I can't see the monitor that good. Moving around several different positions. You see my face probably. Okay. And the next position keeps the rear markers on and the headlight. Front markers go out. Back to the second. Back to the second position from the left. Turns on the markers again. So if you're on a forward movement and you pull into the siding and you're stopped, you turn the headlight off for any oncoming traffic, but the markers stay on both front and rear, so you have indication, safety indication. Center off. Rear position for the rear headlight markers. Of course, then come back on again, front and rear, all the way to the right. Turns on, keeps on the rear markers for rear movement, and turns on the, uh, let's see, like that, I guess, like that, you can see it, maybe, move it a couple times. And, uh, so that's your setup. It's uh, pretty neat. Running at night, um, good set of lighting, rear markers of course, caboose markers, actually uh, on an observation car, but they're kerosene style marker light scale marker lights I have. I have the Fresnel lenses that I have, a very, very uh, magnification is awesome, a very small light magnifies, you can see them at a distance, no problem, same marker, same lights in there and the same lights in the front, I modified them to fit in the front lights. Um, so we're ready to go at night. Uh, our first run at night is going to be on Friday, we hope, if the weather's good. And uh, we'll be out running Friday night for an hour or two. 
uh, get Dan to get a chance to see what that's like. Got to get our flashlights ready, of course. You always have to have a flashlight at night. Something happens. Um, but it should be fun. Dan should have a good time running. And um, we'll see you then, I guess, out at the track. So um, that's it for now.